All right, I have a chapter 21. I have another example question. If you look on the bottom of page 612 of your textbook, the very last purple box states, a patient was admitted in labor at 39 weeks. She had an uneventful pregnancy and had spontaneous vaginal delivery of a healthy baby girl. The patient developed fever and back pain after delivery, and it was determined that she had a UTI. She was started on antibiotics and was sent home. The question that I've got is, how do I get code 646.62? So, the one thing that you have to remember is, unless every single thing in a delivery process and in a pregnancy process, unless everything is absolutely textbook perfect, then you have a complication of some sort. So where I would start with this is, she developed a UTI after she had a baby. What is a complication? A complication that's pregnancy related, if you look um, above in the blue boxes on page 612, uh, number three, pregnancy related complications after a six week period so if it happens or postpartum also postpartum complication number two right above there a postpartum complication that one's even better is a complication occurring within a six week period so if it happens within six weeks of delivery it's considered a postpartum complication which is what we have here isn't it so let's go to um why don't we go ahead and go to add a diagnosis and I'm going to type in complication because that's going to be my main term, right? So I've got complication. And I have a couple of things that I could choose from here. I have number two, which is pregnancy, abortion, or purpurium. And then down here I have B, which is pregnancy and deli or delivery affecting fetus or newborn. What we have is not affecting the fetus or newborn, it's affecting the mother. So we're gonna go with pregnancy, abortion, or purpurium because the, this means all around, right? Now, we don't have an in utero procedure, we don't have an abortion, we don't have an ectopic or molar pregnancy, we just have pregnancy delivery purpurium. It's a complication of that. Now, here we have anemia, diabetes, uh, pregnancy-induced hypertension, preeclampsia, trauma. We've got all these things, but we don't have UTI. So I'm going to go ahead and spell it. When in doubt, spell it. So I'm going to say UTI. Lucky, lucky. Urinary tract infection. So let's pick that. Now, it's going to ask me if it's asymptomatic bacteria or if it's other and unspecified. We don't know, obviously, so it's unspecified. We don't know where in the urinary tract it is, but we do know that she has symptoms, right? So it's got to be unspecified. We don't know if it was caused by any of this, so again, unspecified. We did not have an organism identified. Now, it's going to ask us for the episode of care for the obstetric patient. She, deli she, she developed this after delivery, but before she went home. So what do we have here? Well, we have delivered on this admit, condition began before delivery, or delivered on this admit, condition began after delivery. We know that the condition began after delivery because it says... The patient developed fever and back pain after delivery. So we're going to choose three. Now, do we have any other complications? Nope. We know that she had a single birth, live born, and we know that she had a, an uneventful pregnancy with a spontaneous vaginal delivery. We didn't have to do anything to help her. And what do we get? We get... 646.62, infections of genital urinary tract in pregnancy delivered with postpartum complication. We also have our UTI. We also have the, the V code and then our um, uh, vaginal delivery. So we are all set. That's it.
Okay?